Hey guys, what's up? I'm back, and today I'm going to be doing a part two of the NHL 21 wishlist. I know I haven't done one of these kinds of videos in a long time. I am sorry. I've been really busy. I've been... So, uh, and I also apologize if anything from the first video gets repeated. I didn't end up watching it. I was figuring, like, uh, it's probably easier just to repeat it because it's been so freaking long. <sighs> Without further ado, let's get into it. And before I do begin, actually... Feel free to comment anything that you want me to do in a future video or a topic you want me to do a future video on or something that you want me to put in one of these wishlist videos. I do read the comments. I will get back to you. But please have a nice debate in the comments if you're going to reply to somebody. Have a good debate. If it starts to get too mean and that kind of stuff, I will step in and I'll probably delete the mean comment and that kind of stuff. I will not tolerate uh, mean comments and that stuff if you do post a mean comment to me or anybody else targeting me or anybody else um, I will you know delete that comment so now let's get into the video okay so the first thing I want is in coaching mode um, basically what this would be is kind of you start with a college team and um, you like beforehand you like design your coach and you would choose a coaching style you would uh you know and that kind of stuff and then you would like get a job like at every level moving up a little bit like you would be a head coach at college level and then you'd be an assistant coach um in the ohl level and then you'd be a head coach in the ohl level and then you move up to the echl as an assistant coach then a head coach and just like keep going along that line and to like have meetings with players you would have like a set depending on what the player is saying you would have like a set uh thing of replies that would pop up and and this is for like mid-game coaching too you could well you can adjust the lines and that kind of stuff and um those things that pop up for conversations will be based on what you chose at the beginning to be your coaching style and you can like adjust lines and that kind of stuff and you can just kind of coach you know have a good little coaching build a coaching reput reputation build your coaching awards things and that kind of stuff and i think that'd be a really fun mode i would definitely play it i have been saying this for a few years now that i wanted it uh the next thing is echl players and franchise mode like they already have echl players and um, a little bit of them in franchise mode. They're just, like, unsigned or they're, like, on the AHL team. If there's any, like, ECHL player that's on an ECHL team, he's not available in franchise mode, which, uh, that pisses me off. I think you should be able to, like, sign players that are in, uh, you know, ECHL teams, so, like, contracts and that kind of stuff. And you, can, I think that also, if there is an affiliate, uh, you should be able to play the... Uh, ECHL affiliates games as well as the AHL and the NHL games if you wanted to. I just think that would be a cool addition. Um, you don't have to agree with me there. I, I, I'm a big fan of hockey, period. But I go to a lot of Cincinnati Cyclones games, which they're in the ECHL. Very good team. Contender almost every single year. So, yeah. Uh, I would love to be able to sign some of those players because some of those guys are really good, actually. Justin Vive could easily be an AHL depth guy. Uh, Boomhauer, young, still developing, but he's pretty good. Uh, and just a lot of other players in the UCHL are good, you, and I want to be able to sign them. I just can't. Next is SPHL in just the game period. I'd love to be able to play SPHL teams and all that stuff in, in, in the game. That's really all there is to it at UCHL. Uh, you've added the ECHL how many years ago? Which, by the way, I still don't think that you can sign. I mean, not sign. You can um, play and be assigned to an ECHL team and be a pro mode. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I don't think you can. Which they said that they're going to have ECHL in franchise and be a pro. They haven't. A few years ago, they still haven't you know, done that promise yet. Which I... That... It, Again, has lost a huge amount of respect from me um, to EEA because they're obviously not really listening to their fans but if enough people show them this video or like this video or share this video and comment on this video 
then maybe they'll see it and they'll be like, oh yeah, these are some good ideas. We should probably get on this and improve our product because that's the way businesses are, um, which I'll get into exclusive licenses in a different video. But uh, basically, yeah. I don't know where I was going there. So I, I have ADHD. I can get off track very easily like that. Back to the what I want to see in, in NHL 21. Okay, next thing I want to see is, this is maybe a little bit controversial, a little bit not, is, but I'd like to see actual, like, suspensions and that stuff in franchise mode. A lot of this stuff is probably going to be centered around franchise mode, because I play that the most. I don't really play any other mode that much. I primi primarily play franchise mode, and that's just what I like. So, yeah, I'd like to be able to, like, have suspensions and that stuff in franchise mode. You already have injuries, which I'd like to be able to, like, let's get on to the injuries a little bit later. But, yeah, I'd like to be able to have suspensions in franchise mode and have punishments for, like, five, like a five game or that kind of stuff in franchise mode. I think that would be really, really cool of an addition to add. Um, so, yeah. And then there's this, uh, the injuries. I'd like to be able to call up, like, on an emergency basis or on a that kind of, you know, basis, a goaltender or somebody that is waiver eligible and be able to send them down without waivers because you, I think that's how the NA, actual NHL works. If it's an emergency basis and you send them down, they don't have to go through waivers. I think that that could be a really decent addition to the game. Um, yeah, that's cool. The next thing I'd like is in franchise mode, I'd like to be able to, like, extend the coaches. Like, have a mid-season like season extension for coaches. I think that would be really cool. So, yeah, I'd like that. And then there's another one for franchise mode that I'd like. And that is to be able to hire... Not the goalie coach. Um, not hire, I meant... Um, where was I going to go? Sorry. AD is a bitch sometimes. Um... What was I going to say? Um. Uh. Um. What was I going to say? Give me a second. I'll find out. Okay, I officially remember what I was going to say there. Um, I wanted to have, like, um, an, a trade thing. Not trade finder. It's a, like, untouchable guy so that you will not, like, get offers for these guys. Uh, you can, like, have a list of guys that you can add. It's kind of like a trade block kind of thing. Only those guys will never, like, have be involved in, like, trade negotiations or anything like that. Won't even be available to select to trade a guy, to trade them away. Um, I think that would be really cool because some guys are untouchable. So, yeah, that that's really cool. Another thing I'd like is to be able to trade cash in, uh, though, and uh, future considerations. I think that would be a really cool thing to be able to do in franchise mode. And, and another thing for franchise mode, I know this is very franchise mode heavy. I love playing that mode. Is um, You know like how you only have like one year to sign a guy uh, that you drafted? I But in the real like NHL, you have like I think three or four years. I think that they could make it really more realistic by adding to, for extending that time for three or four years so that you're not like, like oh, God, I got to sign this guy now. I got to trade and sign this guy now. Because I like signing all my rookies, by the way. I love doing that. But, like, it would make it a little better if I didn't have to have one full year to sign them. And then they could be signed with anyone else. I think that, like, I don't know. I just think that could be a really cool thing. The next thing is... Okay, it's a little bit... I don't play be a pro much, but I think that it could be a lot more fun if, like, there's more of a story involved. I think that more of a story would be really, really cool. And I think, you know, that it could definitely upgrade that uh, be a pro mode and take it to the next level. And also, um... You guys don't have to agree with anything. Like have a let's have a debate in the comments on okay these things are good and these things are bad like, but keep the debate civil. But yeah, feel free to have debates about stuff. 
um, if there's anything that you would like it, put it in the comments. I'm trying to think of another one. So how about... How about the um, BA ref mode that they jokingly introduced? I think that'd be really cool. You could like start as a ref in the minor leagues and then work your way up and like build your reputation and be kind of like a Wes McClawley at by the end. I think that's really cool. And another thing I'd like is in be a pro, be able to be offered a multiple a multi year like extension mid season. I think that'd be really really fucking cool. I'd like it. Um, that's really all I have. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.